Hey y'all, thanks for joining me today. I have a Caldwell haul to share with y'all. And let me tell you, oh my gosh, I have so many fantastic finds to share. I'm just going to go ahead and just jump right into this. So the first thing that I want to show you, I'm just like trying to figure out what I need to show you first. <laughs> the first thing I want to show you is these really cool little, what are these called? Wood stems by Floral Garden and it is seven ounces. This one I got because it's, um, it's got different sizes in it. But yeah. The crafting things that you could do with these or you could stick them in a vase with some other uh, um, decorative things or put it out on a tablescape. Um, this is the other one that I got and these are bigger like yeah pretty good size. All of these are really really good size. So I was super excited to find those. Um, the next thing I want to show you there's two three different ones <laughs> this is okay so this is the first one that I bought two of them but this is called a triangle clip lock storage and it's pretty good size and it has the lock on the end let me show you, you put that on there first let me get that lock it on and then the other side you just lock it on and they're stackable of course and then I got a little one this was the only blue I found in either size so I went ahead and I snatched this one up and of course it is the same there's a lot of different things that you could use this for as well and it says the same triangle clip uh, lock storage so got those. So the next thing I want to show you is, oh my gosh, y'all. And I got quite a few. <laughs> All right, so I got two of the farmers um, market. Again, I found these in Caldwell. I haven't found these anywhere else yet, so I was so excited when I found them. So this is the back and it shows you pretty much everything that it has and you don't have to use this for a calendar you can use this for crafting activities you can cut these out and stick them in the picture frame you can uh, mod podge them on different things you can mod podge them and make a wreath with them there's just so many different things that you can um, do with these. So I was, yeah, super excited. Then the next ones I want to show you is, I only got one. This is the home. And then again, I will show you what they look like. Okay, there we go. I can't see when that's straight up in the in the view so pardon me if it's showing nothing <laughs> so this one is home sweet home I did get two of these and then here's the back I want you to be able to see everything peek around the corner so again I did get two of those then this one is one day at a time which I will probably give to maybe my mom I do like this B one the one that says be kind but here's those and then the last one I got I may give her this one I, I like that I do like this one this one's pretty um, it says today is a good day and this one's all flowers and um, uh, motivational or inspirational quotes there we go 
So those were the calendars. Um, I've seen one person haul those, and when I saw them, I was like, yes, it is calendar time. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and show you some food. Um, I've been talking about Sunny D. This is the raspberry lemonade, and it is a 40 ounce. Looking forward to trying this. Then this is that sparkling ice that I was telling you about. This one is the orange mango. It's zero sugar with vitamins and antioxidants and it is a 17 flowing ounce. Let's see, orange mango. 17 ounce. Then these are new. Um, I've never tried these, so I'm kind of curious about what, I mean, I know they're electrolyte drink, but I have no idea what they taste like, if they taste like a Gatorade or not. So there's, there, there was only two flavors. This is the blueberry, and this one is the strawberry kiwi. They are both 21.3 ounces. So we will do those on a taste test. Uh, speaking of food, I did go ahead and eat this. I was hungry. Um, cinnamon strudel cake. And it was good. I mean, it did what it needed to do. And it says there was two coffee cakes in it and they were 2.89 ounce. So driving out of town, I didn't eat no breakfast. So. Caldwell is the first area I go to so I went to this hall first thing in the morning so I, I was hungry so I went ahead and I I grabbed something to eat <laughs> and then I think this is the last food I've never seen these this this yeah I'm curious about these and I did go ahead and grab two so it is a summer sausage and it is five ounces. Um, Best Buy day is three eighteen twenty three. So I grabbed two of them. And we're gonna try them out. Put a little cheese on a cracker. Good snack. Hopefully they taste good. But it does say needs no refrigeration. But we will probably put them in the fridge um, after we open them. That's usually the rule of thumb. They're good as long as you don't open them and then you put them in the fridge once after you open them. Okay, so now the other stuff. This was in that school supplies. They had this color and they had the pink. This is by Greenbrier. It is by, well it says Greenbrier on the back, but this is Jot magnet locker box pocket and you see it has the big thing i bought this specifically to put on my whiteboard and i am going to hopefully put the dry erase in one side and all my markers on the other side so yeah when i saw this i was like okay dry erase and i've already stuck it to the fridge and it sticks i've stuck it to the dry erase and it sticks so this doesn't necessarily have to be for school for your kiddos. You could actually use this if you have like a command center or if you just want to stick it on a fridge with next to a notepad or something like that. This would work work great to put pens or markers or whatever in. So I was I'm excited about that. Um, one more school supplies. I this is by Jot also. It says Greenbrier uh, glitter ruler just a glitter ruler I mean that's pretty simple and it, it, it it's it's a little flexy but I wouldn't bend it a lot because it will snap in half but in that pretty I like glitter so I went ahead and I grabbed that I'll probably you keep that up here on my my area when I'm doing crafts and stuff all right I think we're good to do the the fall decor this just says decor again by Greenbrier I thought this was really pretty 
and and this up here is um doggone burlap i was thinking of hot gluing some sunflowers on the top don't you think that would be pretty maybe even like some leaves coming out and then put like a few different colored sunflowers i think that would be really really pretty and it says always be thankful They had quite a bit of stuff. Um, I, I'll also um, post a link to the actual Caldwell walkthrough, and then y'all can see more of the the stuff that I that I looked at in the fall decor and stuff, and then just generally in the store. So the next thing I want to show you is this is by Floral Garden, and it just says berries on it. But aren't those pretty? They did have multiple colors, but I like these. A lot of people, they get like the burgundy and stuff like that. And I just really liked this one because it's it's burgundy, like a reddish orange, and then a golden yellow. And I just wanted something different. I really thought these were pretty. Like, hmm, I could do a few things. I could actually probably put them on that too. That's a good idea. Um, make sure you check your berries in your floral before you grab them. I'm missing one. So instead of a four, it's a three. But this here is also just a berry pick. And this is one of the other colors. It's just like a creamy white or off-white color. But I thought that was pretty as well. And then these little guys, I might put these on there because these are really cute. These are sunflowers. They are also by Floral Garden. But they're a smaller version. They're not the big, the nice big sunflowers. But I thought these were really pretty. And then, of course, the golden ones. So there's the two different versions of the sunflowers that I got. I have a surprise for y'all at the end of the video. I am going to make sure that there is one thing because I want y'all to watch to the end. So stay with me, okay? Alright, so here's some more stuff. This here, I got stuff in here. Oh, yeah. See, I'm like, look at all this stuff. Here's some more some more fall stuff. I really like this one too. I showed y'all the other one um, like two videos back I think. I really love the fall. Um, I love these box buckets I guess if that's what you want to call them. On here it doesn't say. It just says it's by Greenbrier. But I really like these. I like to put flowers and stuff in them and just use them as a, you know something decorative for the or even I could put even put it back there I just like stuff like that to uh, decorate with all right of course ribbon and this here is by crafter square it is also a three yard I don't think I have this one that's why I went ahead and I grabbed it but it's the floor it's a floral it's leaves it's um the all the autumn leaves so I went ahead and I grabbed that. I think I grabbed these last year. I haven't looked through my stickers, but I went ahead and I just grabbed them again. I really like these. I think they are so, so pretty. So I got those. And then I showed y'all the green one that I got. I went ahead, I found, again, I was at Caldwell. So I found the different colors. They had like a peach color, um, that mint green color, and then this dark blue. And of course this opens on both, both ends. And then it has the little cup inside of it 
So I got that. And then I found these. So from what I understand, there is another one. I believe, was it Thrifty Tiffany? It was either Thrifty Tiffany or Jennifer Moen that found a different one. I think it was Thrifty Tiffany. It was uh, like a pink color and it was a Zodiac one. But that's the only one that, that I know out there that's, that's still out there. If I would have saw that one with these, I would have probably grabbed it as well. But this is really cute, cool. It's the, uh, bleh, the Mindful Journal, Journaling Mindfulness and creating your best and then this is what the inside of it looks like this one is intentions and reflections a guided journal for positivity and fresh perspectives that's what this one looks like Write your own story, a guided journal to find your own peace. Oh, that's what it looks like on the front, sorry. And then this one. So this is what this one looks like on the inside. And I think this one might have, oh yeah, see, it has different sections. So I like those. Found some more of this Colgate Renewal. Whenever I find it, I grab it because it usually takes a while before I find it again. So I make sure that I have some. Um, oh, if you remember, I grabbed the, um, I guess the gel or lotion form of this anti-chafe. Well, I found the stick. And this says um, it's for women and men. It's the same exact thing on the front as the other one. Except this is like a deodorant. There you go. And it is, it's got a nice, now that I've got the roughness off, it's very... Can you see that? See the shiny? It's got um, mineral oil, uh, hydrated castor oil, some type of a wax that I can't say, coconut oil, and aloe. And it doesn't have a smell. There's no smell to it. But it, it does have a good glide to it. So, just saying, I, we, I've actually tried the other stuff and, and I, I like it. I like it. So, it keeps your, your legs, your underarms, or whatever from sticking and rubbing. I mean, that's, it's horrible. Especially when you're in a state or an area that has a high humidity, things stick. You walk outside, you literally feel like you're in a sauna. So it's always good to have that extra protection to keep you comfortable as much as possible during our summer. <laughs> okay, um, I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the pet stuff. You know me. If there's stuff that I find interesting, I wanna try, or just stuff I need to stock up on, I'm gonna show y'all. Uh, this is the um, Kind Rewards Bare Bones. There's two in here. It's the Knotted Bone and it is peanut butter and it's a 2.3 ounce. I have a bigger dog now, so I'm glad that they have these. And they really like those little ones. Those things are gone. I'm going through more treats now than I was before. But yeah, happy to find that. Went ahead and I grabbed two of the irresistibles uh, one is salmon and the other is with uh, white meat chicken these are both three ounces yeah another item that goes <laughs> pretty quick and this is a catnip catnip fever it has chicken catnip and cheddar flavor 
and it is only 48 grams which is 1.7 ounce but the reason I get this is because of the catnip I wish it was a bigger container then there is the pounce chicken flavor moist this is three ounces so that's a pretty good deal I like the bigger bags for my my doll my money all right I'm gonna I got some new items okay I've been waiting to do this video so I can actually use this stuff it is flea season they are tearing up my fur babies so excuse me when I saw these I was like yes excuse me of course I read the ingredients in it this one has um, cedarwood oil and it has that sodium laurel sulfate not sure what that is I still haven't looked it up unfortunately but I need to so this is um, and it is by nature's best so I am definitely going to give this a try it is a 12 ounce bottle then they have the spray itself this is an 8 ounce and it has clove oil cedarwood oil cinnamon oil and then that sodium stuff but I am going to give this a try as well. Let me smell this real quick. Mm. It's okay. It's not frou-frou-y by any means. Let's see what this... This smells like dirt. Well... I guess if it's supposed to work on fleas, it's not supposed to have no frou-frou smell. So, as long as the fleas go away, we're good. Alright, so the next thing I was excited to find, I hope they bring these here to BCS, but these are, these are beef hoofs. This was the biggest one in the box. I looked for the biggest one for, for my boy. So I got two of the, the big ones, and then I got a smaller one for the little, the little fur baby. So on here it just says snack bone stuffed cow hoof, and it is a peanut butter flavored substance. So you see the inside? Yeah, it's got that peanut butter flavor stuff in there I'm not sure what it is the writing is extremely tiny just says beef hoof beef meat and bone meal then it goes into some oh some glycerin something glycerin artificial peanut butter flavor okay that that wording is extremely tiny like extremely tiny but I did grab three of these for $1.25. Go in a pet store, go in a feed store, even go to Walmart. I guarantee you will not find those for $1.25. Trust me, I've been looking. That's a good deal. Okay, the very last thing. This is what I'm super excited about over everything else. I was really happy to find a lot of that. But this... I've been sitting on these for over a week and I've seen several people haul them since I've had these and I was like oh my gosh I need to get this video out <laughs> y'all and I have the whole set check this out is that not cool and it is the actual recipe for pumpkin pie and then look it's hollow on the inside so you could probably yeah it stands up sorry maybe if I put this over here and I can show you all right I'm gonna set this right here see it sits up by itself so you can set it up you can hang it up either way I just thought that was really really cool so there is the pumpkin the cherry the apple and the pecan four of these guys let me see if I can do this 
put these in this hand, turn this around. <laughs> Four. Four of these. Is that not awesome? I was so excited when I found these. I was like, oh my gosh. Great present. Hang them up. So many different things you could do with these, but these are definitely worth $1.25 each. Uh, yeah, if you bought the core stuff like this, if you go in any other store, even Marshalls or what's some of those other stores, TJ Maxx or anything, and you find something that's similar to this, I guarantee you're going to pay even on their clearance or their, their cut down prices, you're not going to find it for $1.25 probably four or five dollars these things are worth the money so I was super excited to find these and these will go fast yeah especially with Halloween and Thanksgiving coming these are gonna go super fast so that is my video for today guys I appreciate y'all sticking it out with me if you're not following me on TikTok, it's um, Texas Fury or Instagram is Texas Fury Treasures like my YouTube channel. Um, also again, I will put the Caldwell walkthrough down in the description box down below. If you're new, thank you for, for, uh, <laughs> thank you for joining, uh, watching my video. Don't forget get to subscribe. Um, everyone please hit that like button let YouTube know that you enjoy my content and that you would like to see more of it I love to see your comments down below let's see um no that's not a good one temptations if you watch this video to the very end put temptations in the um, leave me a comment with temptations sentence or just the word itself it doesn't matter just let me know that you've watched it to the very end so until the next video guys happy trails